Hey everybody, it's March 6th, Monday, with your favorite Doom Wizard, moi. And today I felt like going through some news articles I have accumulated on my browser tabs. This is kind of what the Doomer community does as a whole, as we just report on the truth, on reality. Some might find that uncomfortable. I find it exhilarating to know what's happening to my planet and all those on it. Eight billion different stories. Um, again, this is not a form of protest or activism. I'm not trying to change the world. So if you got that vibe from my channel, uh, this is not that. This is me just speaking about reality and something we don't do anymore, which is why mostly, well, a ton of other reasons, but it doesn't help the cause for us heading into a complete catastrophe. So not to get too much PTSD on you for this moment, uh, Again, lots of things happened over the past weekend. I don't know if there was any more Chinese incursions, but I do know they've been flying warships near them. Biden had a tumor, a benign growth, removed from his chest. Um, somebody shot their manager at Hobby Lobby in Oklahoma. There was another train derailment. Inflation's at an all-time high. People are racked up with credit card debt. These are really uh, awful times. I mean, on one hand... You don't need college. You can literally teach yourself anything. I, you could, I've, I've done a full course on AR-15s in the past two weeks, just for example. You can just type something in, spend a week or two reading it, and not to say that you're an expert, everyone feels like they're experts, but you got maybe a good, if, you, if your resources are right, uh, peer-reviewed literature, I mean, who's to say you can't understand what you want to understand? Um, and... What else is new with me? Same old. Paying bills. Making money. Living the American dream. Some would say I would have like a... Think I have like a, a mental illness or neurological disorder. I am neurodivergent. So I'm not a normie who like, you know, reads the subtle art of not giving a fuck and thinks that they're so special. Um, I'm not a liar. I'm just telling the truth. I'm a um, human just like the rest of you, and I mean, what can I say? I enjoy it. Not just, it's not the attention, it's not me displaying my mental illness, it's just me reporting on reality, because so few people are doing it, you know? And when I saw, when I got into this space, you know, and I saw the ones that were already present here, and I can name a few names, um, you know, I was like, wow, I wanna be a part of that, I wanna tell the truth. Not for fame, but for myself. And, you know, people invite me to go talk on shows like I, uh, Collapse Club or any number of the other shows. Not that one, actually. I'm not invited to that one. Um, and, you know, I don't have any big revelation to share. You know, like how to live your life and what to do. Like, it's been so well explored by this point. You know, if you want to eat meat, if you want to escape into hedonistic pleasures and drink and smoke all day that's that's your own doing just know that we're we're doomed okay this the ship has sailed um we're already past irreversible climate change so we're just we're <laughs> hellaciously we're, we're gliding we're crashing into a future which we as this community the doomer community sees and has to live with this information so the contrary, the, the alternate place of me, okay, let's say people think I have mental illness, you know, I'm neurodivergent, I have some autism traits, it's hard to exactly pinpoint or trace that down to, uh, you know, a diagnosis, but I would much prefer be in my place, maybe this is hindsight's 2020 or something, than uh, be, a nor be a clueless moron with three kids uh, fighting for bills and unsure of my own future. So, you know, at least this place, I'm stable, I'm grounded. I know where I stand and the map matches the ground. So my, my path matches what I see on the ground. And that's important because to be confused in anything is not a fun place. Very much not enjoyable. So enough rambling. You want to get to the news. Let's do that. Let's start with fizz.org. Wastewater sector emits nearly twice as much methane as previously thought. This is no bueno. Municipal wastewater treatment plants emit nearly double, double the amount of methane into the atmosphere than scientists previously believed. 
according to new research from Princeton University. And this, yeah, could be a big problem. So all of our doo-doo and trash is warming the planet. Where you at, Greta? Where you at? Climate change is fueling more conflict between humans and wildlife. We've been seeing this article pop up more and more lately. Um, wildfires pushing tigers towards Sumatran village, villages, drought prodding elephants into African cropland, hotter ocean temperatures forcing, forcing whales into shipping lanes. This is a catastrophe. Um, I personally, maybe it's not just because of me reading this, have been seeing more of these interactions even within my own uh, confines of sit of my town. I'm seeing more wildlife, not just because I live on the outskirts of the city, but not really. I live in a small town. I've been seeing much more like otters, badgers, deer running across the street. Um, you know, maybe it's just my imagination. I don't know if I'm qu not quite youth, but I'm I'm there. Um, kids often worry about much different things than their parents, and this article from CBS is emphasizing how climate anxiety is forming and maybe this is a rehash of public from uh yeah this was last year i did report over this i just feel like it's worth mentioning again that um 67 percent of youth are sad okay about the future ages 16 to 25 so yeah i'm definitely not youth uh 59 percent of youth and young adults said they were very or extremely worried about climate change and more than 45 percent said their feelings about climate change negatively affected their daily life and functioning uh, this has been reported on many of the other channels as well. I just had to just repeat that for good measure that um, people are feeling the heat, no pun intended, from climate economy March 4th, two days ago. Uh, brutal heat in Mexico, 113 degrees. High, earliest 45C ever recorded in North America climactic history. Okay. Um, severe storms and tornadoes and inflicting my former place of residence, Dallas, Fort Worth, and many in the area. Uh, just a prelude to storm season, and I mean it's only it's only March. Um, weird winter weather with warming even in February in Baltimore. Um, very warm. Uh, wettest winter on record. A race drought in, early, in Minnesota. California snowpack is approaching an all-time more than record. So clearly extremes um, from heat to floods. Um, breeding for frogs in the UK. I mean, you know. I didn't lose you, did you? Did I? Did I? Some of y'all care. Some of us care about knowledge. We like to be informed. Okay, Northern forests released a record amount of carbon dioxide in 2021. Heat waves and droughts in Russia and Canada resulted in a big jump in carbon emissions from boreal forests in 2021 on the rising trends since 2000. Almost half a billion tons of carbon were released from the North American and Russian boreal forests. Whew. They typically amount for about 10% of all carbon dioxide from fires, but heat waves in paywall blocked. I'm not going to go there. Uh... On the same vein about record temperatures, Argentina melts in late summer heat wave as records tumble for them their summer, I guess. Um, I guess they meant to say early summer heat wave. I don't know. 40 degrees Celsius, 104 degrees Fahrenheit, beating the 38 degrees Celsius previously set in 1952 in Buenos Aires. Never been there. It's okay. Trump is going to set us up a freedom cities and flying cars, so we'll be okay. Former Trump uh, proposed building 10 futuristic freedom cities on federal land and would create a new American future in a country that lost its boldness, echoing the, the Jetsons, okay? Except we're $41, $31 trillion in debt and we keep sending billions of dollars. In fact, I don't have this uh, link pulled up, but let me... Let me tabs from other devices here now that we're talking about that oh i don't have it but the army corps of engineers says this just got published it would take 53 built 53.2 or some crazy number 53 billion to secure new york city from being inundated by water flooding water damage 53 billion you know think of how much money the billionaires have and they can't give one cent of that. Oh, but Bezos claimed to pledge, you know, all of his earnings for that, 
for climate change, but where is it going towards New York City and all of his Amazon Prime centers and headquarters and etc. What a mess. What are we going to do? U.S. got a record-breaking 40% of its energy from carbon-free sources in 2022, report reveals. Uh, really? Energy output combines renewable generation such as solar, wind, and hydro, and nuclear, which isn't renewable. Electric vehicle uh, sales surged by 50% in 2022, too. Meanwhile, you know, everybody's racking up credit card debt, uh, um and unsustainable levels. Moving on, climate and economy Economy on the sixth economy update. Uh, crypto collapse reaching the real financial system. French giant uh, CMA G CGM warns of uh, demand is deteriorating. Truck freight volumes de continue to decline in the U.S. Uh, ooh, big deal. There is still more than enough trucks and um Supply being shipped around. A mental health crisis takes its toll in the UK workforce. I know some people on this channel struggling with unemployment. And again, France braces for strikes that could be at a standstill for days on end with no end in sight. I'm not going to continue that. Bernie Sanders says on Bill Mayer that we should form unions. And until we form unions, we will keep having shit pay and be stomped on. That's done enough to support strong labor unions, Bernie. <laughs> What's the future of unions in this country i think they just subpoenaed the starbucks dude. they didn't i did uh, you know it's, uh, <laughs> and the bottom line is that you're not going to have a middle class in this country unless workers are able to stand up organize form unions and, and negotiate for decent contracts but you're seeing companies like starbucks uh, and amazon and other apple and other large corporations really engaging in illegal union busting but you know you gotta you gotta uh coerce with your disenfranchised co-workers and somehow bring uh communication you know and, and inspire the worker bee to fight for their own future why would they fight for that when you can get heading into a world where a flat screen tv covers your entire wall costs a hundred dollars and a four-year degree costs one million dollars this is from mark anderson he's predicting a future where um, technology whips down prices like we can, uh, <clears throat> you can, the price of educate, let's flip that price of education, health care and housing, as well as anything provided or controlled by the government are going to be going to the moon, even though those sectors remain technologically st stagnant. So health, the main things that you need, we're going to cripple you, but instead you can get a flat screen TV, um, and a new phone and, you know, products keep you dumb and anesthetize. Uh, they don't want the the minority population at Church's Chicken rising up, um, you know, and taking their jobs. Don't worry, the billionaires will save us. Climate change could cost Germany up to 900 pa billion pounds, okay? A five-fold increase in the average annual of cost to cover damage by extreme weather by 2050. $956.8 billion by the middle of the century, century research published Monday. Weak climate damage would cost $280 billion. That could represent a decrease of GPD, GDP by 0.6% to almost, 0.2, almost 2%. Because we're still measuring by GDP, yet trying to save the planet. And the green machine dream... Okay, I hope you're doing well, all 150 of my little viewers. You know, I'm a bit introspective about this channel lately and what I want to accomplish, and I stated that in the beginning. I have to do that to remind myself and remind you, you know, why you should stay tuned is because nowhere else you get uh, such raw, unfiltered truth without personas and Russell, you know, like Russell Brand or all kind of um, ideologies. And I mean, even within the collapse community, even within the doomer community, there are so many different viewpoints on how you should handle your life and what you should do. Theologies, let's say ideologies, you know, and I'm not so much leaning towards that. I kind of give my viewer. Yeah, obviously. I'm not a cult leader. I give my viewer free reign to live their life however they want, but at least they're an informed individual with the ability of critical thinking. And that's what I strive for. Because uh, 
too many people are asleep, not paying attention, um, and just downright disappointing. I know. Focus on yourself. Focus on your health. Okay? All right. Hope you enjoy this March 6th What's Happening in the World Report. I'll talk to you guys soon. See ya.